You probably think I'm crazy or this video is clickbait. Well, it's neither. Let me explain. I did actually want to start this video with this tie and I was gonna like cut it, burn it, but then I realized it's kind of wasteful and maybe kind of dangerous. So I figured out the best solution. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Why a furry channel? There's enough of them. I agree, there's a lot of great furry channels. But I didn't see a lot of furry channels, I'm not saying there aren't any, that had people like myself that have been in the fandom for like 20 years. And I think there's always room for people to have a different perspective. I'm not wearing this suit anymore, so I'm just gonna take it off with one sec. Get off. Furry branded clothing, much better. I did actually quit my job to be a furry full time. What does being a furry full time mean? It's tying your career, your passion, and your hobby all into one. And for me, it was, well, again, being a furry. I'm gonna get into why and how I did this. It started three years ago, you know, when that thing was happening. I was watching a lot of videos on travel at the time because, well, we couldn't really travel. And I decided, hey, I'll give that a chance. And I started making travel videos and vlogs and all that kind of stuff. Then when things started opening up, I went to Las Vegas. And when I was in Las Vegas, I kind of fell in love with the city and realized, well, there's a lot of hotels here to review. So I decided to create a whole channel based on Las Vegas. And in those videos, actually, I had a lot of friends help me. And some of them, if you pay attention, might have been furries. Or maybe I'll show a couple of them right now. Hello, Las Vegas Kid here, reporting from the Duck Donuts. Hi, my name is Matt. This is my third Long Island on Fremont Street. Do Matt's want... going to go to heaven. <laughs> they have two handles for people with weak wrists like myself. Mm. Bringing a bunch of degenerate furries to Vegas and just having fun and kind of getting to film that was a blast. But also, Las Vegas is fun, as are furry conventions, and there is quite a synergy of the two. LVFC, Las Vegas FurCon. In that video, I pretended I wasn't a furry and tried to show an outsider's perspective of a furry convention, but later on I started feeling a bit like a phony? I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't the best feeling, but I did love the furry convention and showing furry in a positive light. One thing I forgot to mention is my first ever video that I filmed that was outside of the city I live in, which is Vancouver, I ended up filming a review of the Grand Sierra Resort while BLFC was on. But I didn't pretend I wasn't a furry and I didn't show the convention. The bigger question is probably, how did I do this? Step one, I need like a board here. I started saving my money. You don't need to be making a bunch of money, you just start saving. So I started saving my money, knowing I would eventually want to do something on my own. Going to Las Vegas every month though, did put a bit of a hamper on that. That's kind of on me, but I learned so much and I would not have been able to leave my job without that experience. Let me explain. Because of all those videos I did in Las Vegas, and there's a lot of them, let's uh, take a look. There's a, there's a lot of videos that I did. I learned a new skill. Oh, step two, step two. And that skill was filming and editing. The third one would be budget. During that same thing, I also learned how to budget and keep my expenses down so that when I did leave this job, I could do it. Another thing I have to do now going forward is spending less money. How am I gonna do that? Ordering less takeout. Can I take your order? Can I get an Egg McMuffin and a small iced coffee? I'm gonna miss you, McDonald's. And cooking at home more. It's burnt again? Why is cooking so hard? I'm a really good cook. Okay, I'm a really good cook. Less drinking alcohol and going out. Water is the worst. I'm just joking, water's good. Don't need a dog walker anymore. I can spend time with my dog. She loves me so much. She's always so happy to see me. I think my dog hates me. No, I'm just kidding, she's old. I'm gonna ride my bike to work, drive less, save some money on gas, and save the environment. Also, it's, uh, I need to lose some weight. I'm trying to think of other questions you might have of like, how I did this, but I think I covered it. It's like I did mention, I do have like other projects I'm working on that are furry related. So that is obviously, I have a safety net. I didn't just like quit my job and rely on social media or anything like that. Like I'm not making any money right now. The channel's so new. Plus that's a pretty big risk. I just wanted to clarify that. I think I made that clear. Usually I wouldn't do this, but since this video is about growing and starting new things, it'd be great if you subscribed. Yeah.